Do you love to read? And are you looking for more things to read? Well, if you're a fan of comics, especially webtoons, then I hope you had enjoyed or will enjoy watching the videos in this channel. You see, I've been reading so many webtoons in the past few years that I already read at least one chapter of almost every single original series in the Line Webtoon app. And I'm not kidding. Yes, it's a little crazy, I know, but doing that enabled me to make recommendations for almost all genres. I could even recommend a hundred titles per category. I also love particular tropes, and among my favorites is the zombie trope. With that, I suppose it's no surprise that I'm a huge fan of the horror and thriller genre, and other related tropes. But I also like cute and wholesome stuff. I especially adore series which have family love moments. I also adore those with sibling or brotherly love, and I find bromance very entertaining. So I had been collecting bromance titles under this recommendation series. As some viewers have already noticed, I sometimes classify or subdivide lists of recommendations under smaller groups or categories. They're usually based on a genre or a trope, but some of them I just invented. By the way, I also check out all new webtoon titles released on particular platforms every month. I used to make recommendations in video form, but it had become a little difficult for me to do regularly, so I make a monthly community post about them instead. Sometimes, I feature new titles in the form of shorts or trailers. The recommendations I make oftentimes do not end up becoming popular though. You see, my tastes and opinions are sometimes different from most fans. Because of that, I think I can consider myself as part of the minority. So for example, the isekai genre is super popular among anime fans, right? Well, I'm among those few who are tired of seeing copy-paste isekai series in every freaking anime season. But, to be clear, I don't actually dislike the genre itself. So, if there's an isekai series that can offer something different, then I would want to support that of course, but high chances that they won't end up becoming very popular. Being a fan of an underrated series can be a little frustrating, and I know I'm not the only one who felt that way. But since we're in the minority, finding fellow fans is quite difficult. It wouldn't matter much even if you're in a community filled with fellow weebs, because the crowd is most likely only familiar with the mainstream titles. So it's pretty much the same as not having anyone to talk to about your favorites at all. But thanks to the internet, we can find others similar to us from around the world. Drawing in these people is one of the main reasons why I started this YouTube channel in the first place. And since you're watching this video, I'm so happy to have been able to reach you. I'm thankful that you stayed even after finding out that I'm not a hardcore Isekai fan. <laughs> Actually, I'm certain that there are isekai fans who have no issues interacting with fans like me. There are so many other possible interests other than isekai after all. And it's great to meet people who can respect differences in opinion, gender, origin, culture, and language. Fortunately, English is spoken in many parts of the world, so I don't need to learn a new language for this purpose, since it's already my second language. I don't really speak in pure English in my daily life, so making videos in English had helped me practice on that. I try my best to speak clearly, and it makes me relieved when someone confirms that you guys don't have a hard time understanding when I speak. But despite that, I still put subtitles on my videos because I know the feeling of hearing different from what was actually said. So I hope you guys find it helpful. I noticed that some viewers enable the auto-translate function, and I hope it's doing its job properly. 
I feel grateful that there are viewers who try to understand what I'm saying even if they don't understand English at all. I appreciate comments even if they're not in English or in my native language. Besides, I will be able to understand you with the power of Google Translate anyway. We can use these convenient online translators in order to communicate. If you posted a comment in English but are not very fluent in that language, you don't have to apologize. You guys write good English anyway, so you don't have to worry. What's important is we can communicate. Thank you very much to all of you who spent time watching my videos. Seeing all these comments, regardless of the language, is really motivating. But there's something else that strongly motivates me to create more content. And that is the opportunity to earn money from my hobbies through YouTube. <laughs> money brings happiness after all. It would also be a dream come true if I can get freebies from official publishers. I've always wanted to be like those content creators who are able to receive advanced copies of printed manga or manhwa from the publishers themselves. It would also be very cool if I can get sponsored by them. That's why it has been my goal to become a Webtoon Ambassador since the channel's day one. But at present, I'm not qualified to become an ambassador yet. So for the time being, my goal is for the channel to acquire 3,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy the videos in my channel anyway, then it's better to subscribe already, right? <laughs> so that you won't miss out. That's what these people had realized too. <laughs> and hmm, I noticed that around 90% of this channel's viewers are not subscribed yet. So maybe some just forgot? <laughs> It happens to me sometimes, you know. So please, click click. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about the channel's content. Well, another reason for creating this channel is simply to share and talk about my favorites. And some of them happen to be among the popular ones, like my current top obsession and the channel's main content, which is the Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint series. Although ORV is already a very popular title, especially in South Korea, webtoons in general are not really well known worldwide, and that's not just on YouTube. Well, compared to anime and manga at least, I think the reason why they're not very popular yet is because they're still new. Manga and western comics had been around for a long time, while webtoons started around the time when people started reading comics online. But give it time, webtoons will become even more popular than we could ever imagine. Now, going back to ORV, I have plenty of videos related to it. ORV videos that the channel has so far include unboxings, summaries, 10 facts, character relationships, and recommendations designed specifically to an ORV fan. And in case it's not obvious, ORV's main character, Kim Dukja, is my absolute favorite. I love him so much and I don't run out of topics related to him. So I now even have a playlist with videos that are centered on him. I even celebrate his birthday every year, along with his many other fans around the world. Speaking of fans, an ORV fan has mentioned that Dukja's design might be inspired by Subaru Sumeragi from X1999. I know this is mentioned as a joke, but I never realized this resemblance in appearance until I read this comment. I have vague memories of this clamp series, so maybe this is a sign that I should reread that manga already. Speaking of manga, it's one of the things which I love a lot other than webtoons. Actually, I used to be an avid manga reader before I became an avid webtoon reader. Some of the anime adaptations which debuted recently are actually manga titles I already loved since years back. So in the near future, I am hoping to release plenty of anime and manga content as well. Maybe some novels too. I've already started something like that on my manga hunting in my recent travel. I'm the type who does anime pilgrimages, by the way. I also like visiting anime-related places and stores. 
Last 2019, I was even crazy enough to visit as many animate stores as possible in the Kansai region. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I really did go to these places. And I've also been to South Korea actually, but I didn't read much webtoons during that time. I almost bought the whole bastard Banhua collection though, but I changed my mind when I thought about my budget and luggage limit. <laughs> So, I ended up buying just the last volume of Super Secret. I really wish to visit those countries again, but oh well, I'm not keeping my hopes up. Aside from ORV, I've also created some videos related to the web novel Holy Trinity. ORV is part of that trinity. The other two are Lout of Count's family and my S-Class hunters. Watch this video in case you're not yet familiar with this trio. Aside from titles under the Holy Trinity, I've also created videos related to the following webtoons, Elisid, Tower of God, Taysit, Dr. Frost, and many more. I am aiming to release more The Greatest Estate Developer content sometime soon because, well, that got the highest votes when I asked. <laughs> Of course, I would love to do more content for my other favorite webtoons too, but I barely managed to release a video among my main ones, so I don't know. We'll see. By the way, even if I'm just an amateur, I really love voice acting, so I've released some webtoon fandubs for fun. Most of them are OV fandubs, but I'm hoping to be able to do dubs from more series soon. Believe it or not, I voiced all of the characters in the fan dubs released so far. Well, unless stated otherwise, I can find a way to voice various female characters or even male ones as long as they're kids. Sometimes they sound quite similar to each other though, but anyway, most of the characters that I want to voice are adult males, but I just can't do it. Well, Luckily, I managed to find a way for Kim Duk Jas and Han Yoo Jin's voices. But if I try to voice other guys, they sound so wrong and it makes me cringe. <laughs> so, if I have no choice but to come up with a voice for them, their lines would be as few as possible. Thankfully, my awesome cousin offered his help in doing some voice acting for this channel. He's not a professional either. But he's got talent! Yes, proud cousin here. Thanks to him, I got a sexy manly voice for Sung Hyun Jae. <laughs> anyway, other than dubbing, I also like music. Similar to webtoons and manga, I like and listen to almost any type of music genre. So it wouldn't be surprising for me to listen to something angelic and then we'll be listening to something kinda edgy later. <laughs> I can appreciate songs in any language as well. And yes, I like a lot of anime songs, but picking a favorite will be torture. I don't have a particular favorite song, but I have something like a seasonal addiction. My latest one is Fly Up from the Lucism anime, which I finally finished just recently. I also don't really have a favorite artist or band right now. But long time ago, my favorites were Linkin Park and Gorillaz. I grew up singing along with Disney songs, and I think that awakened my love for musicals and theater. Thankfully, I don't need to travel far in order to see Hamilton live. I'm so excited. Anyway, this love for music made me interested to create music videos, but I'm not sure if I can create more. You see, Choosing the music is already very tricky because I can't just use any song or else I might get copyright issues and that's kinda stressful. And although I have a huge variation in terms of the music I like, I am really terrible at keeping myself updated to the latest trends. Also in remembering songs and even in recognizing popular artists or bands. So this makes choosing a song for a video extra difficult for me. But of course, even if I find it unlikely to release music videos again, it doesn't make my love for music any less. Anyway, so the channel has been releasing various kinds of content focusing on webtoons. And two years went by so quickly. 
Last February 21, 2023 is the channel's second anniversary! Hooray! Coincidentally, just around a month before the anniversary, the channel has finally gained 1,000 subscribers! Thanks to everyone who had shown support! I was so joyful that I celebrated both occasions with a cake. I intentionally looked for a cake that is similar to Dukja's cake drawn by the omniscient reader webtoon artist for his birthday. Now, let's see how much the channel had improved compared to the previous year. Wow, there are 28% more views and 58% more watch time. The channel had less than 500 subs last February 2022, so thanks to this increase, we reached the subscriber count milestone! Thank you so much! None of these achievements would have been possible without you guys who watch and support my channel's content. I am very happy that my channel had helped you in some way, and you are all very welcome. But I seriously have more to thank you guys for all this love and support. Thank you for appreciating the content that you see. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and opinions too. Thank you for also sharing your favorites and recommendations. Thank you for acknowledging my effort and hard work. Thank you for noticing the little improvements that I've been trying to do. Thank you for all those words of encouragement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Seriously, I'm so grateful. I, I feel like crying. <laughs> Actually, I was kind of tempted to share every single comment in this video because I seriously love them all. But if I do that, I might not be able to finish this video. So, okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, now I want to learn more about you guys. So, let's see. Ooh, I've noticed that the gender split of this channel's viewers are somewhat balanced. And that's fantastic! You see, I aim for this channel to be like ORV itself, which has a fan base that is neither dominantly male nor female. It will be a really amazing coincidence if these numbers are 51 and 49% instead of 61 and 39 though. <laughs> ORV novel readers will know the meaning behind it. And I'm sorry for torturing ourselves once again with that. <laughs> Speaking of the ORV novel, believe it or not, I actually haven't finished it yet. I'm aware of the spoilers till the end though, so I'm not surprised that a lot of people thought I already completed it. Of course, I plan to finish it someday. You guys will find out when that happens. But first, I need to prepare my heart. <laughs> now, going back to the stats of this channel's audience, Let's now check out from what countries you guys are from. So, here's the top 5. And number 1 is the USA! Oh wow, that's so cool! Thanks a lot! On top 2 is my home country, the Philippines. It feels like you guys are so near, yet so far. <laughs> top 3 is India. And that's amazing! I didn't expect India to have this many webtoon readers until recently. And it seems that India won't remain in third place for long because as of the past month, India's already in second place. Wow! Then, for top 4 and 5 are from some of my country's Southeast Asian neighbors. Hello, Indonesia! Hello, Malaysia! Ah, if you are interested to know what countries the other viewers are from, here's the list of top 6 onwards for the past year. It took me a while to believe it, but these geography stats show that there are apparently more Webtoon fans in many parts of the world than we thought. And I find that very incredible. So, from which country are you from? Okay, now let's check out the top videos for the past year. This gives me an idea of what you guys would like to see the most. So, among shorts, I've only created 10 of them so far, and here is the rankings by popularity. Top 1 is the series with an anime adaptation, followed by a webtoon with gorgeous guys, and top 3 is a quick ORV dub. Nice! And here is the top 10 among the long-form content. Oh, lots of viewers really like romance, huh? 
This trope discussion video had a sudden increase of viewers, and I have no idea how it happened. It's the same with this one, but I assume it has something to do with the popularity of the Lloyd memes recently. <laughs> what else? Oh, it's good to see the Holy Trinity video getting more exposure, but I hope it's not being mistaken with the Christian counterpart. <laughs> wow! I see two fandoms in the top 10. I feel proud and embarrassed at the same time. I am happy to see the bromance video series getting more and more exposure. The effort of collecting those titles is paying off. I am also very relieved to see the most popular video in my channel to be still hanging in the top 5 even though it's among my very old releases. I wonder what the next top 10 list is going to be like. We'll find out on the next channel milestone. By the way, I determine the priority of upcoming videos depending on my availability, my mood, my brain cells, and the demand. My basis for that demand is not only on the total number of views of the released videos, but it's primarily on the total likes, and then the number of comments, then by the average view duration, and the total views is the last. With these numbers, I think you guys can somehow guess what kind of video may come soon. So, if you wish to see more of a particular type of video, please click the like button and or post a comment. I read every single comment in this channel. And if ever I missed any, most likely I just forgot or YouTube filtered it out for some reason. In addition, I consider votes, likes, and comments in the channel's community posts too. Speaking of which, in these community posts, I've requested you guys to ask me anything for this video special. I've responded to those with lengthy answers in the earlier parts of the video. So now it's time for the ORV-related ones. I originally planned to make two versions of my answers here. One for webtoon readers and another for web novel readers. But to keep this video spoiler free, I shall share the web novel versions in a future video maybe. Sorry. Alright, let's now begin with… My favorite quote so far is Dukja's line in this scene. It always makes me laugh. <laughs> Captain Korea. <laughs> and I love the idea of Dukja being familiar with Marvel superheroes. Now about my favorite arc, it used to be the Cinema Dungeon arc. But later, I started to love the fifth scenario much more. It's so emotional, and the whole gang is almost complete in this arc. Sponsor? Hmm. I guess I would have picked Angel Uriel. She's like a Fujoshi big sis whose priority in life is BL, but she genuinely treasures the girls under her care. Mia Constellation? Hmm. For simplicity's sake, I might just use my current online name. I have the same initials as secretive plotter after all, so that's cool enough, right? <laughs> and I want to be in a nebula where Kim Dokji is in or is affiliated with. For abilities, I guess I want an ability that is related to a reader like Dokja. But of course, it has to be something different, so hmm. Maybe something to do with genres and tropes, I guess? Like if I use drama attack, the enemy will cry non-stop or something. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda lame. A college student using ORV for school? I think this question has something to do with the student who used ORV for their thesis subject. Well, I think that passionate fan is so lucky and incredible at the same time. I hope they were able to get high marks for that subject. And you know, I think I would have done the same. But maybe not as a thesis. You see, I wrote about bleach for a homework in my philosophy class during my school days. What more could I have written if the topic was ORV instead? I already used a psychology-related subject in an ORV video. Maybe I can use philosophy next? Oh my god, maybe that's too nerdy? I don't know. We'll see. By the way, if ever you want to follow my other social media accounts, well, I'm pretty active in Facebook. 
Sometimes I even post quick webtoon impressions or reviews over there, especially if I'm lazy to create a video out of it. So yeah, I sort of made it a blog. But be warned, that account is not spoiler-free. It's the same with my Twitter account, which I revived just recently. But I mainly use it for stalking webtoon and manga creators and publishers. <laughs> Last is Reddit. Subreddit groups over there have plenty of interesting webtoon discussions. I do have other social media accounts, but they're not active anymore. I don't know when I'll be able to revive them. But for business matters, feel free to send me an email instead. I'll indicate the email address on this video's YouTube description section. Oh, if you're a fellow YouTube content creator who is interested in having a collab with me, I'll be very honored. Advance, thank you for your patience because I'm such a newbie for this kind of stuff. Alright, I hope this video gave a useful overview of what the channel is about and gave you an idea about my plans for it. And I really hope that I didn't make you bored when I talked about myself. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Hope to see you again. Take care!